Every shooter has an area usually around their face where the ball gets released from. Depending on the player, it could be high or low. Along with that, many players may realize that the further they get back from the goal, the lower the release point will get. Why is that? Let's hop straight into it. We'll start with the basics. The further you are from the rim, the more power you will need and the more closer you are, the less power you'll need. I'm sure you already knew that. So when it comes to shooting, the closer you are, the less power and momentum you'll need to shoot the rock, which means you'll have more strength to hold the ball at a higher position. As you begin to get near the high school three point line and deeper, you got NBA range, logo range, you name it. You'll notice that your release point or your set point will get lower and that's fine. Players, this is something that will happen naturally. Please don't force yourself to have a low release point, just let it fly. So if you're a good shooter that can shoot from NBA range with no problem, and your release point is at your eye or nose, let it be. The best shooters all have different release points. So never be discouraged if your release point is higher in the mid range than your deep three. It's natural. Be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. It's your boy JP. Until next time.